So after Jesus was crucified, a man shows up on the scene and his name is Joseph of Arimathea. And this is significant because Joseph was a member of the Jewish high council. So he was a, a member of that religious sect who had just crucified Jesus. And so it says actually in Mark that he came and asked for the body from Pilate and he did that at his own risk. And so he was risking a lot to go and ask for Jesus's body to kind of show that he followed Jesus, that he believed in Jesus. And so he goes and he gets the body from Pilate. And this story is in John 19. And so in John 19, another man is also with him, and that's Nicodemus. And Nicodemus was also a member of the Jewish religious sect. He was a Pharisee. And so you might remember Nicodemus because back in John 3, you see that he has gone to Jesus at night in secret to meet with him because he has all these questions. He says, Jesus, I, I can tell there's something different about you because you're performing these miracles. And Jesus actually in John 3, he shares the gospel with Nicodemus and he, he says one of the most famous verses to Nicodemus. He says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So Nicodemus hears the gospel. He hears the good news of Jesus. And he starts to look at him and follow him. And the more close he becomes to Jesus, the more he sees that Jesus is who he says he is. And so when Jesus has been put to death, both Joseph and Nicodemus, they risk everything to go and take his body and to bury it. Because in Jewish tradition and in Jewish custom, to bury a body was to show honor and love to someone. They loved Jesus and they were showing him honor. So they anoint his body, they prepare it for burial, and they put it in a tomb that Joseph had purchased um, that was his own, but that he lent to Jesus. And so they were bold in this action because they had seen Jesus. They had heard him. They knew that his teaching was different. They knew that his miracles were real. And they were bold because of it. And they were emboldened by that, even with Jesus being dead. So my question to you as believers and as followers of Christ is we know the whole story. So how much more bold can we be than Nicodemus and Joseph were, knowing the full story, knowing that he didn't stay dead, that he was raised from the dead? We have this knowledge of Christ that allows us to be bold. So I would encourage you to walk in that today.